Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki here in the national offices of the Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network, the Apostleship of Prayer, in snowy Milwaukee. And I want to wish you a very happy and blessed new year. I want to thank you, too, for being part of this great network of prayer. You know, together we offer each day with its prayers, the works of the day, the joys, the sorrows, the sufferings, the hardships, the challenges. We offer our whole day for the spread of the gospel, the work of the church, and for the needs that our world is facing. And in particular, for the Holy Father's monthly prayer intentions. Thank you for being a part of that. You're making a difference in our world and in the lives of individuals. And I'd like to share with you now a letter that I got on December 3rd. It was the 172nd anniversary of the founding of the Apostleship of Prayer back in 1844. And in this letter, one of our members shares with us what it means to her to be part of this great network. She's a prisoner, and she writes, Dear Father James, For well over the past year, I have been using the Apostleship of Prayer's leaflets along with my rosary to begin each day. And while praying the Holy Father's intentions this morning, it dawned on me that even here in prison, I was a member of the largest faith community in the world. That the very prayers I was saying were being echoed by countless others across the world, making me truly feel like a beloved daughter of God and a member of the one true body of Christ. As I said, I've been using your leaflets for some time now, but it wasn't until this very morning that I gave serious thought to the gift that your apostolate was providing me each month, the gift of inclusion, the gift of knowing that I matter and that my prayers are needed too. So, Father, I am writing to thank you for including prisoners regardless of their ability or inability to make a financial contribution to the apostleship of prayer. And I wanted you to know that along with the Pope's intention, I pray daily for this apostolate as well. May you have a blessed and Merry Christmas and a happy, peace-filled and joyous New Year. I was really touched by that letter. You know, letters like that remind me of how important our apostolate is this apostolate of prayer, uniting people around the world, people in nursing homes who are unable to do more than to offer their sufferings to the Lord for the salvation of our world for one another. So thank you for joining us in this great event, this great apostolate of prayer, and thank you also for your financial support, which makes it possible for people like this prisoner to receive our materials and to pray with and for us. And as we begin this brand new year, I'd like to share with you a t-shirt that I received during the year with a little slogan that I hope you take seriously as you go through the year. Keep calm and offer it up.